You have choices when you fly. That's why the people at YOLO Airlines are surprised when you choose us. When the YOLO jets are flying, some days we're really trying. Sometimes it's almost like we can. A family trip, that special friend, an important customer. Whatever your reason to fly, you might get there safely on YOLO Airlines. Make it look so easy. Every YOLO flight is an adventure. Every in flight meal, a trip to the lavatory. You'll be really glad to land. We love to fly, but we don't know how. We don't try very hard, and it shows. You'll never be late because we never depart on time. So sit back. Try to relax and let YOLO pilots point out the sights. Air France Theresa and I contact uh, Memphis Center 1 3.65. I hear my co captain Departure coming two, aboard. Two, 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 Are we ready to fly yet? Is that me or you? It's gotta be you. <laughs> nope, it's me. They keep telling me I'm cut off, but Cap I can't be cut off. I'm in the oh, cockpit. Right <laughs> <laughs> How can you be cut off in That's the cockpit? Crazy. Holy smoke, we gotta drop a whole oh, lot look. faster. Than no, look, look at your banana. Yeah. Look at your own banana, not mine. He <laughs> won't serve me anymore. <laughs> I told him I need to fly. And he won't listen to me. Uh, gear down. Gear. Gear. Here you go. Oh, jeez! Oh, my God! You only live once. That's the spirit of YOLO Airlines. So when you're ready to fly, there's one airline ready to serve you. Poorly. YOLO, we love to fly and we'll learn somehow. We don't know how to fly and it shows. Holy crap! We, yeah, we're just, we're done. That didn't go well. <laughs> cool. Wow, that didn't take long. Okay. So we're going to depart on what runway? Uh, let's do four right. Okay, four right. That'll be straight out to Atlanta. All right. Um, and let me see here. Yeah, for budget is the, uh, oh, we don't have a choice. So we just go straight to budget. Altimeter for Lafayette is 2993. Set. Okay. Oh, what was our flight level? Let me check. Three Let six? me check. Flight level's three seven. Right on. Yep. Odd altitudes to the to the east. <coughs> Dang. Run that trim. I have noticed on the previous two takeoffs there's a lot of pullback to get that nose up, so I'm wondering if maybe the trim wasn't set. That's, yeah. So, but see, it's it's set for 5.5, and what we really need is 4.8. And it just won't go, will it go back any further for you? Well, mine indicates oh four eight ish. This one doesn't. That one. Oh oh what? Oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's just the servo. You can override the servo very easily, but these two need to be aligned, I think, yeah. just mechanically. 
I don't know how you do that. We had to take the whole thing out and take it apart and take pictures and photographs and videos and like we haven't done that before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just another day for Yolo Avionics, right? All right. I think we're Yeah, I think we're there. Okay. Okay. So let's get rid of the All right. Parking brake is set. Good. So, push back. All right. Uh, let's get the chocks removed. Everybody should. Yep. There they go. That's one thing I do like. If you remove the chocks, uh -huh. everybody starts to. Get the hell out of Dodge? Yep. Good. And then what I want to do. Turn on noise canceling. <laughs> yeah. There he goes. <laughs> yep. Back out to the bayou. Yep. One thing I don't like is the the jetway. I can't release the jetway from here. Huh. Yeah. Let me see if there's a I mean, doors. Let's close the door and see what happens. If I can get that now. I just hate having to bounce around to all of the... Right. <clears throat> no? Well, let's see what happens here. What? Ryan just posted something. Oh, you might want. To. That's what was showing over on his. Oh my God! <laughs> oh no! And it, this is where you want. You might want to get your brakes checked. Oh jeez! <laughs> that gives new meaning to high-speed taxi. <laughs> That's hilarious. I think going into Atlanta is a good idea. That's a good stress test. Yeah. Should be a lot of other uh, online guys. Yeah. Okay, APU is starting. Duh. Okay, looks like all the service stuff yeah. is gone. I can't release the damn uh, jetway. That sucks. All right, well... Let's just do this. So we're going to want to push nose right? Yeah. No. Yeah, nose right. Isn't that the runway right there? Um, yeah. Oh, we want to taxi all the way back up that way. Yeah, we got to go all oh, the wait, way down no, there. I thought we got to go this way. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to push nose right all the way down Bravo to Juliet, cross 29. Okay, I got you. We want to take Foxtrot to Juliet. Okay. I got you. Oh, well, yeah, we could do Foxtrot, too. So, standard, we went nose right, got it, and starting. Off the brakes. Brakes are released. Parking brake is released. Brakes released. Yeah, I can't release the... Uh, I can call it, but I can never release it. I don't know why that is. Oh, that was so funny. Fly DC Jets, the... <laughs> That's... Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this should be a good uh, 
at late afternoon or evening landing. Yeah. Oh, we should probably stop our push. He's supposed to nose right. Yeah, I think we might end up in the grass. Ah, fudge. All right, set parking brake. Okay. Parking brake set. All right. Okay, I got the fuel for number one. Number two. Two. There's the dinosaur juice for two. <laughs> Go ahead and start. Well, I'm going to, it was Ryan, I'll answer. Him. Okay. Starting one. And here goes the dinosaur juice for number one. And I figured out what that, 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 that did you hear? Yeah. That's a text coming or going. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Talk about, you know, radio waves. Yeah. Where's the FCC? Let's turn them in. Yeah. All right, so we got one and two started. Yep, I got good starts. One and two buzz. Uh, set flaps. Off. Set RTO. Look at this, just flipping switches, not even know what we're doing. I know. And APU off, taxi lights on. Let's roll, buddy. It's a roll. Here we go. Off the brakes. Double oh, clutch. You're, you're going to have to spin us. Oh, no. We're good. But that's the runway out there. We're going to runway four, right? Yes, but yeah. you can't. Sure I can. Okay. You can't get to runway four going the other way. Sure, you can go right onto the runway. <laughs> we are not doing that. Oh, okay. No, negatory. No fun ray. Nope. <laughs> they never called me fun ray in school. Holy shit, that works. Dang. How did that happen? I heard the do do. Yeah, it's a narrow taxiway. I, yeah, something just kind of, I'm getting this hint that it wasn't really designed for us. Kind of getting the same feeling. I'm going to go with it though. <laughs> The runway is probably wider. <laughs> Crossing runway 29. That doesn't sound good. No. Give ourselves a wide berth on this turn here. Yeah. 
slow her down a little bit. All right, crossing uh, four left. Then at Juliet, you'll make it right. Yeah. It's too bad we didn't have an uh, airport scenery for this one. I bet you've been a lot easier yeah. to taxi around and do stuff. Updating it right now. Well, after that circuitous route. Yeah, I gotta stop at Walmart and see if I can get some sort of Beavis and Butthead swag. swag. <laughs> Yeah, whoever the riders are for them is just brilliant. Oh, yeah. And you have to wonder if they're drawing on real-life experiences. Yeah. I still like that. <clears throat> I'd like some more unemployment, please. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> it's been posited by the Beavis and Butthead community that... Um, Butthead is not the main character. It's actually Beavis. I I think so too. I can see that. Butthead's actually the sidekick. Isn't that cool? That is just. Amazing. You're not supposed to be looking out the window. Yeah. I'm looking at the gauges. I'm looking at the switches. I'm looking at the levers. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at that. And it's not until I get to my destination do I look out the window. <laughs> All right. Stand them up. All right. Speed tape's live. 80 knots. Mon V1, you can do it! There's V1! We are going to rotate this incredible Good flying time. machine. Gear up, please. Gears are coming up. Auto yeah, brake is going off. Oh, Flex going to. Two right to five thousand Delta, ten thirty-three. Oh, you. The correction, the wheel correction is going the right way now. Yes, sir. Nice. All right, let's just go on that V dev. Roger, Roger. Let's just do it. Yeah, we can pull the flaps in, I think. On our way to budget. Well, this will be the test, right? Yep. Don't do that. Are you hearing a neener, neener, neener? Yeah. I'm not. Was on. Oh, was it? Oh, that sucks. United 277, 8 miles from Haines, turn right at 250, making 5,000, still tight from the positive. Say that, that's my truck. Right turn 250, making 5,000, still tight from the Allen. Right. We're turning, burning out of here. Here we are. We're doing it live! Yeah. It's better than dead. Yep. Hey, 
67, turn right heading 110. Heading 103, 67. God, this scenery, I mean, <laughs> 2020 it is. does it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It really does. Fuel. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Okay, baby, you know what not to do. That is just gorgeous. It is, isn't it? Nice thing is not being on stream, so when the tacos arrive, yeah. you can just get up and go. Yeah. That's nice of her to that is. go and grab those for us. It's kind of funny that she is, though, because all the way up here, I'm thinking, God, I'd love, love to have some of those tacos. Really? Yeah. You should just say it, dude. If we're not, you know, we could run out and go grab them. I'm going to take you up on that. No, it's dead serious. Mid-flight, we're just going to go get some tacos. <laughs> well, we'd be back right in time for landing. Yep. That's what autopilot's for. Tell the stream. All right, guys, we're going to go get tacos. We'll be right back. Yeah, back Just player, uh, your pilot in command. Yeah? <laughs> and then I figured if we fly with the outside view, that'll also keep the stress up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm kind of... Yeah. So the rolling cache is turned back on yep. in the sim. Yep. And it did not require. I a wonder restart. if that's why I started having the jitters in 4K. No, I think that was an actual bandwidth issue for that amount of data going through. Now I know you're going to poo-poo me. Okay, but I don't. Why would I go for three months with no issue? I completely get it. Windows updates. But for three months, it, you seen it was butt smooth. I know. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying, Windows updates. But the thing is, the rolling cache. Was, oh, that's it. Tomorrow I'm putting it back to 4K. <laughs> okay. Even though you've got it running beautifully, you're going to go back to 4K. Yeah, but the video, which is completely unnoticeable to 99% of the population. But I notice. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of weird not to look down and see if somebody's uh, yeah making some funny comments. We should have just done this one on a straight YouTube stream. Oh, yeah. We should try that sometime. Dual stream? Can, but how would we get the chat, two chats going in? The, yeah, that would be... Because you'd have to have both chats going. Oh, that then we would need kind of like a moderator. Like an in-house moderator right, to manage both right, of them. Yeah, we can't even manage this aircraft. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can't even right, manage the first-class lavatories. Let's check out some. Let's see here. I want to see this view. Ooh, that is cool. Is it? Do yeah, you think so? I like it. There's a lot to look at. You know what? Hang on. Let me bring the so we can just see it in here what it looks like. Okay, hold on. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I like that. I need to bring it down a little bit. A little bit, not much. A little down a little bit to the left. Uh, too far down. Up a half inch. 
A little more, 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 a little more. Stop! And about eighth inch to the left. There you go, perfect. Right there, folks. Yeah, that is kind of a cool view, isn't it? Yeah. I even get the heat blur. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I just turn? Oh, no, I'm still alive. All right, so we, we like that view. We have you approve that view, right? That view is approvable. Okay, and this view? <laughs> hey, DC Jets, everybody wave hi. <laughs> hey, everybody start knocking on the door there. <laughs> All right, so then we got this view. I wonder if you can find the image for that and change the uh, change the, the words on the door to Office of Fly DC Jets. I bet you could find the BGL file, modify it, kind of like you, what you do with the livery. Oh, yeah. That would be funny. All right, so then we got that view. That one we know. Yep. That's just the opposite of that one. Yep. Then we got this view. Ooh, that is sexy. Yeah? I like that. That does look good in this... See, the, the trick is it's got to look good in the stream, right? Yeah. That does look kind of, kind of cool, doesn't it? Kind of cool, yeah. Okay, then we got this one, which I, is the other one. Mm -hmm. But this one looks better, doesn't it? I think it's only because of where the sun is at. Well, I'm thinking, look at that. Because the other side, you got all shadow. Well, but I'm just looking at that and seeing how the engine placement is. Yeah. You can see the engine. Over here, the engine placement is... Oh, it's a little different. Yeah. Like it's zoomed in. Yeah. Let's uh, play with that. It's not going to let you. Oh, well, okay. So what you would have to do is you'd have to turn off the immersion. Right. Reset it to what you want and then turn back on the immersion. Okay. So that sucks because then, then that's just my normal, you know, view for the. Uh, so. Yeah, that one I don't. But I like this view. That is nice. But. <coughs> so that view, this view, this, this one's okay. So these three here are kind of nice. Yeah. Sure is a lot of water around here. Yeah. For Texas, that's a... Well, no, this is Louisiana now. We're in the bayou oh. country. Got to turn off that. Dude, I think she looks seems a little smoother. Well, I've already jinxed it, so jinx away. <laughs> no, I mean like ever since you turned on that rolling cash, uh -huh. I'm not getting the micro stutters. I wonder, is your rolling cash on or no? I am thinking about that. I don't know if it is or not. Might be, it might not be. Five miles to something. Roar. To roar. Oh, RQR. There we go. So, do we have everybody? Wow. Do we have everybody set? Triple blocked. Quadruple blocked. <laughs> 
Uh, what were you saying? Do we have it set so that if there's any other bat simmers, or not bat simmers, any other MS Microsoft 2020 guys flying that they'd show up? I don't think so, because normally we, we'd be seeing at least one or two tags, right? Well, oh, I got tags turned off, I bet. Maybe. Yeah. Tags do take away from the the scenery. Tags are like a double-edged sword, right? They can take away frames, but it also makes you feel like, okay, there's more people in this world. Well, no, true. I, I, you know what? They need to improve their tag system. Yeah. It needs to be so it's not so obtrusive and in your face. Yeah. And some of that information on tags is redundant because you can see altitude and airspeed here. Right. So, why put it on the tag? Well, I'm thinking they're probably thinking more like for the Xbox users. Yeah. Dallas 3962, 8 miles from me. Turn right heading 250. Maintain 5,000. Go south to the Lopez. Speed on left. Yeah, we're going to go up to 370. Yowza. We're doing it! Dude, what is it? We're at 10 after 3. When did we start flying? 12.30? 12, 1 o'clock? I don't remember. 12.30. Because that's when Fly DC Jets was... Yeah, we there. were already loaded at 12.30. Yeah. Okay. We're in the... Uh, we're in the danger zone. Yep. And we landed and took back off again. Yeah, and let it sit there for a while, too. That's interesting. I just don't understand why shader cache would cause those kind of issues. Well, when you update NVIDIA drivers, sometimes those drivers don't update the shader cache files. Next time I do a NVIDIA update, I'm going to do, uh, they've got an option where you can just um, do a fresh install. Right. It just wipes everything. Yeah. That means all your monitor configurations goes away. And your resolution size goes away. You want to put yourself through that? Well, <laughs> well but that's, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what happens. Because sometimes Microsoft will say, hey, you need to update right. your NVIDIA drivers. Most of the times they don't anymore, but. Uh, oh, okay, that just freaked me out a little bit. I, I just happened to look up and everything was paused, but it wasn't paused. It was oh. just me. You, you paused. I paused. <laughs> yeah, my brain accidentally hit the pause button. <laughs> But yeah, this thing is just rock smooth. I wish mine was this smooth. What do you mean? I need a 4090! I don't understand. Why is it yours is rock smooth? I still get the micro stutters. Oh, do you? And I'm wondering now if maybe it's because ro I have rolling cash turned off. That could be. There's another thing I've read about is like when you go in and you do your flight plan. Yeah. If you put your destination start, your destination end in there, mm -hmm. um, it preloads that cache. Nice. So it knows where you're taking off from, where you're going to. It knows the data to collect prehand. Right. That's pretty forward thinking. So I wonder if that might help. Yeah. Nine miles from me. Turn right heading two four zero. So what kind of forty ninety card are you looking for? I am kind of leaning towards an ASUS. Um, Strix. Strix, yeah. I know they're they're pricey, but the the DDR speeds and yeah. Now I don't have a Strix either. If I'm gonna lay out that kind of cash for a forty ninety, I'm going all the way. Yeah, I know it makes sense. But as soon as you buy it, you know the fifty ninety is gonna release. I know. Ugh. And then, and then the 4090 prices will drop like a avalanche. I can't believe what I got mine for compared to what they're wanting now. For. Oh, it's crazy. It's like, shoot, the 3090s. Have you seen that even for a 3090? Yeah. I was going to think about selling my 3090, and I was like, no. Yeah. It's still a workhorse of a car. It is. It will be for the next 10 years. Yep. 
Because if they're already at the limit of graphics capability in the sim... Yeah, what does that tell you? It, you're kind of breaking even. Yeah. I did notice a good improvement, though, with my 49. I did notice an improvement. Don't need to keep throwing that hot exhaust around like that. Nah. Now we're in cruise climb now, folks. I'm just waiting for my circuit cards to be delivered. They haven't been delivered yet? Oh. What the hell? Hello, approach Delta 1524, 10.5 for 7,000. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. 1524, Atlanta approach. I bought the new Cohen Sam Robinson R66. Oh, he bought the helicopter. Ooh. The sun wow. shining on that like that. Yeah, that's sweet. Oh, it's not what it is. Now we're doing 585 across the ground with a lovely tailwind. <clears throat> yeah, we still got. 120 knot tailwind, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Shimony. You know. Yeah, ride the wave. So the one thing that this thing still lacks is, PM, you know, well, and I understand that the weather radar is, is a problem with 2020. So they can't really duplicate the weather and uh, have a weather radar. So it, a lot of times if you're having to deviate for weather, you don't know it, right? Right. You, you have nothing to tell you. Yep. Then we turn off terrain radar up here. Turn on weather. Yeah, see nothing. You get a big. That's weird. Yeah. Well, it's just the sh it's a failing of the sim. And I'll bet you weather will be introduced in 2024. Hey, around the yep. At 5,000 feet, clear the ILS. funny to fly DC jets. Yeah, I keep changing the numbers so I can simulate not know what, what aircraft I'm on. <laughs> right. <laughs> and it's going to get gorgeous. Yeah. You think we should turn the weather back a little bit or just let it go dark? Just, well, it's up to you. What do you think? Let's let it get dark and we'll make a choice yeah. from there. It's not like we're trying to do it in the stream anyway. Right. The stream, I'd say, oh, yeah. We yeah, it roll does it get dark, and it does get kind of kind of wanky. Wonky, wanky. Wonky, wanky. Yonky. It works. It works. It works. It works. It really, really works. Very cool. So, I saw that you uh, posted the pic at like 4.20 in the morning. <laughs> the radar pic? Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't tired. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, this yeah. is why Ray doesn't wake up until noon. That's right. <laughs> I figured somebody would call me out on that. I think I took that at like 12.30 in, in the morning. I'm like, what the hell? Whatever. 
<laughs> but then you know what happened. I was in flight. I'm like, oh, I am really tired. I need to shut it down. That's what happens. Yeah. As soon as you get in and you're just kind of chilling, and, and then it's like, yeah. Oh, this is going to be a grind. Wow, look at the lighting in the distance. The stars coming out. Yeah. Yeah, X plane can't touch this. I don't know how they're going to even come close. Go 25, 15, Camry, 26, right? 5, oh, so I, I, I saw Swan Swim. He was uh, he was streaming. Yeah. On YouTube, and I asked him. I said, "Hey, giving up on 2020, huh?" And he goes, "Oh no." He goes, "I just like to keep uh, both my sims. I want to make sure I can use either one at any point in time in case I have a problem with one." That's a good idea. And yeah. I'm like, you know, that's pretty damn smart. Yeah. So, he's been just working the last couple of weeks to uh, make sure his X-Plane side is still working really good. And it was seemed to be working great for him. Right good. Right turn 190, Delta 1524. Yep. The golden hour. Yeah, it is kind of cool. And I love how the cities start lighting up and everything. Uh-huh. They have cities in Louisiana? I, are we in Louisiana still? I don't know. I don't know what state we're in now. A state of confusion? Definitely that. Gulfport. Yeah, I think we're still in Louisiana. Yeah, I'm kind of... Ooh, a little bumpy. Ooh, hello. We got a little bit of weather happening. Got an updraft here. Boy, that uh, vertical speed took off. Yeah, it did. Might, might have been a weather change. Oh, um, that's true. That could have been. And yeah, we're going to get up there it now. It happens very subtle. Yeah. That was interesting. Yeah, we'll be up to 3.7 real fast. Maybe she saw the top of Klein coming up and going, Oh, we better wake up. <laughs> So let's go to the cruise page. Let's do point eight zero. Execute that. Does that make you happy? Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at that. Taking all that V waste out of it. So it's saying that we're gonna on the Hobbit two for runway two six. For two six right, and Shree. Got a fifteen twenty four. Maintain two one zero right. knots. The bamboo and one eight zero knots. Execute that. Contact Cal Nine Nineteen one now. Two ten to bamboo, and then uh, one eighty to AJ Delta fifteen twenty four. Oh, listen, that's not, I'm Mr. Professional. God, yeah, I just <laughs> rattled it off like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> well, with this new, let's see what this view looks like. Southwest 813, turn right in 250. Yeah, that's kind yeah. of boring. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, that one's kind of boring. Yeah, that one's kind of boring. Yeah, that one. That one's kind of like boring too. Yeah, <laughs> this is boring. <laughs> this is boring. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh, I think the sun has finally disappeared. Stepped on. Blocked. Blocked. Shire. Frodo. Bilbo and Baggins. Yes. Gee, you wonder what that's about? Wonder what that's about.
So what project you got going? Is this just what you're working on? Is your radio project now, basically? Yeah, so I've got... 15, right I need to start designing the front panel for this. And then I'm, I'm, the smaller unit, uh, that's my next big project. Actually, it's already in the works, but that's I'm working on that, too. And from there, once I get those two finished, out the door, I've got a payment system in, on the website installed, which I have yet to do. And then I'm going to start. I'm going to start looking at that uh, Garmin MX200 again. Yeah. I didn't have any success in getting that third-party app to work to uh, send data to the Garmin Moving Map display, but I'm going to give it another shot. This time, just with the Lua stuff and coding the microcontroller and see what I can come up with. I want that to work. I really want that to work. I don't blame you there. Don't blame me. And there. I've got that. I, I, you saw the picture I, I put on Discord of that uh, Garmin 430 unit. Yes. I, I want to try and get that to work too. Oh my God! So many projects. Yeah. So few years left. I know, right? That's scary. So I'm just, for me now, it's just to get this all put back together again. Right. That'll be, and then once I get that done, you want to turn on your light so you're not in the dark. God, bossy. Yeah. <laughs> there, now I can see you. Okay. I, I didn't know if you were there or not. Oh, well, I'm just a disembodied voice over here. Yeah. But, uh, no, once I get this hanger put all back together, uh -huh. um, I'm thinking about uh, trying to get the rest of these gauges going. Okay, we can do that. I want to get that working, uh, too, with just Lua and without the third-party app. Maybe that's what... Because what we'll have to do on that, on the microcontroller, we'll have to uh, create a lookup table, which is tedious, but it, like you saw in my standby airspeed indicator, works beautifully. Well, and this shouldn't be too, yeah. Create a lookup table, huh? Yep. With Lua? Uh, no, with the uh, microcontroller code. That's oh. where the table will reside. So what you oh. do oh. is you basically use a stepper motor, point it to the point it to one, record what the step is to get it to there, and then you do the same thing through all the other ones, and then you go to the halfway marks between each number. Just record those in, in the lookup table, and then you go to the drawing board basically and do interpolation between one and one and a half one and a half to two and how many steps it takes to get there that's how you build the lookup table and at what speed um speed won't really matter i usually set stepper motor speed to 60 which is fine uh any faster or slower i've noticed that it kind of gets a little inaccurate over time well i was just thinking like for i know like with the uh, flaps for the boeing you know like the, to get to flaps one and two and five is like really slow and well, and that up. speed will be mimicked in there because we're pulling the information directly from the flap indicator or flap position indicator in the aircraft. So whatever speed it is displayed on the, on the flap gauge, it'll show up that way. Gotcha. I just wish that Peter's methodology would have worked because that was slick. Oh, that, no. But the math was horrible. Well, not horrible. Tedious, but it would have been so much better than creating a lookup table. Man, when he threw that out there, I was like... <laughs> okay. Yeah, I thought I was just, like, dreaming that something like that could be done. But, yeah, that's an actual formula. Like, holy shoot. Yeah. I, I was thinking, oh, my gosh, we got literally a genius sitting yeah. in the... <laughs> Yeah, that was fun. We worked on that for a good couple of days, but um, unfortunately the microcontroller uh, floating point resolution only goes out to like six decimal places, but his math was out to like 20, 30 decimal places. Like, yeah, it's not going to work. That's why it was accurate to like zero to 80 knots. It worked beautifully, but once you get past 80 knots, then it, it falls apart. Oh, 
it's here. What's that? Our food. Oh! Okay. Uh, I can remain pilot monitoring, or I can go out there with you? Side, but gosh, it is so worth every penny. Delta 1038, turn right, heading 185. Huh? My turn oh, 185, Delta 1038. Yeah. 271, reduce speed now to 180, maintain that to 8 days. Uh, uh, sure. uh, okay, here we are. Let's land this girl. Yes. Good night. Bleh. <laughs> okay. Just to cap off that wonderful lunch. <laughs> Stand by. <laughs> the ballast valve is is opening. Uh, let's look up her radio. Uh, radio. Uh, radio. Uh, radio. Uh, altitude. Right turn heading two one zero. Delta ten thirty eight. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Two six. What do you need to see here? Delta three forty. Wiki pack ten eight. Descended to seven thousand. Charlie. So we're looking at about a thousand feet field elevation. Now, not a point one. 200 feet or 1190. Got a 340 on approach. Come on, 26 right. Wait. 26 right down to 5,000. Which one is the altimeter setting one? Huh? Huh? Which is radio height and which one is the altimeter? Radio height sounds like AGL. Got a 1038, gray mile for pain, maintain 5,000 until established, clear to ILS, and a 26 right approach. Maintain 5,000 until established, clear to ILS, 26 right approach, Delta 1038. Yeah, because they say decision height. Oh, decision altitude, 1190, or height is 200. What? What? That makes uh, no sense. Delta, look at look at one your uh, like your see here decision height. Uh, which approach? On the two six right. All right, let me look that up. Two six right. And it says ILS. You can it's at at the top as well. Yeah. Haynes and Moa. Yeah. <laughs> now, Delta 1038. Convoy 3769, turn right, heading 190. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's. Weird. Decision height. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Decision height. One is because you, you got for your minimum. Oh, I know what this is. So the one is for radio and one is for barometer. Um. No, actually, I, I have a hypothesis. Let me validate that hypothesis. So field elevation on the runway we're coming in on. Which one? Which one? Two right, six run, right. Run, two six right. Yep. Is it nine nine zero? Okay. Is field elevation is nine nine zero. I bet you if you subtracted nine nine zero from uh, from it'd be two hundred. It'd yeah. be about two hundred. Yeah. So yeah, it's telling you the decision height is a thousand feet. Radio, but there's actually 200 feet of separation between you and terra firma. Right. So, but for your, I guess what I'm getting at is here you're setting. We have it set for radio. Right. Which would be 200. 200. Yep. Yeah, you're right. That's what I was trying to get at. Right. Two five zero. See, right now radio is set for. I'll set it for 200. And the radio would act actually be AGL. Drag, we, oh no, I'm not, yeah, for some reason we, we're, we're sitting at 280, but we're, our speed is set for 260. 
We'll help her out. Okay, so radio is set to 200. Okay. Decision height. There she comes. And we're coming up on 10,000 feet here shortly, so do we want to dial back our uh, airspeed on the autopilot? Well, let's see, because right now it should auto to 240. Because if you look at the... Once we hit rain? Yeah. Okay, let's see if she does that. I mean, she should. There's no reason that she shouldn't. Right. Now, you're going to see this as vectored to nowhere. Don't panic. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> Man, I love it when you go onto those landings and they go auto brake max. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. Argh. Oh, no, you're going to go to. Um, we're, we are going to go to the. Um, Simfast, right? Yes, I plan on it. Okay, yeah, we are too. Okay. Lori's going to go too. Really? Wow, okay, cool. So, and then it sounds like uh, uh, Fly DC Jets and uh, Christmas CEO are going to go. Oh, I hope so. So, yeah, the girls will go off and do their own thing. And yep. So it's really sounding like uh, it's more for them just to get together. And yeah. Right, 190, Mark. So look at that. Rain is right on the 10 mile rain. Yeah. Nice. Well done. On this vector to nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can hear a radio call now. Uh, Yellow 705, we're uh, 10 miles from London. <laughs> like to get turned back. Your convenience. Your <laughs> convenience. <laughs> oh, yeah, there she goes, 240. Engines are coming back. Uh, I, how do I break that habit? What's that? Of thinking we're way too fast, dude. I think it's. I think it's only because you fly your beach. Right. You know, you're attuned to your aircraft. Why do you think I come in so hot on yours? That's a good point. Yeah. I do. I, I come in so hot. All right. Landing lights coming on. All righty. <clears throat> Nice. As soon as we turn into rain, let's see here. Mach B sixty four fifty two, turn right in two five zero, intercept the two six right local. Right two five zero to intercept the localizer, Mach B sixty four fifty two. Got a three forty, contact tower now, nine point one. Thank you, one now, good, thank you, Delta three forty. So once we pass Kiwi, we'll want to turn towards Zelo. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this. You see that? I just went ahead and closed this up. Cool. Well done. 5,000 until established, cleared ILS, we're going to be 2-6 right approach. Because normally, they, we'd get, when they vector you off like that, that's just so ATC decides where you could turn in for spacing. Right. Right? Unless you're on the Hood 4 approach. Now, if you read the the uh, narrative for the Hood Four approach, it tells it tells you at waypoint nut to make a left turn.
to Buxom, and that puts you on the final for uh, 10 left. Now it's in the narrative, so does that mean does that mean you can just do that automatically, even if you're under ATC control, or do you still have to wait for ATC to tell you to turn? Whoa! Oh, hello! We're going into some clouds. Yeah, we are. Or the dirt. Or the dirt. Jump back at eight five. Yeah, that helped. <laughs> yeah, I guess we need to turn these lights off. Huh? Cleared IRS. Here's the credit card. Delta three to seven. Yeah, I read that narrative for a good minute. I'm like, okay, so so who has authority, the chart or the ATC? ATC does if they re if they tell you something different. Right. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and slow ourselves down to 220 with a little speed intervention. Duh. Just because we're not going to get vectored anywhere. But we'll keep fast enough where we don't need flaps so we can get on the other side of the 10 mile ring. Yeah. Once we get on the other side of the 10 mile ring, I'll go flaps by. Okay. Yeah, dude, if we put this Delta on the ground, I, I think you found the fix. I think so. I, I think it was the shader cache. Wow, look at our landing lights, dude. Wow, holy smoke. <laughs> I wonder what this view looks like. Oh, nothing. Oh, nothing. <laughs> So, look at that. We're right on the... We are on the money. Yeah. Money, money, money. Whoa, it got bright again. Hello. Another bright cloud. Oh man, they're this is they're landing on you five miles from bamboo continuing. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way we're going. Yeah. <clears throat> we're doing it for real, man. Oh my god. We're doing it like all the big boy pilots do. Yay! We can do it! Locked. Ooh. Ooh. That was cool. That was cool. I tell you what, they have a good job of making you feel very immersed. Yes, they do. Yeah. 
Four miles to Kiwi. Dude, this has been really a great couple of flights. Yeah. But we're not on the ground yet. No, 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 no. Well, okay. we'll get to the ground one way or another. Yeah. That's inevitable. <laughs> All right. So, Zelo is 5,000. So, we're going to hold this in our turn and everything coming up. Okay. Yep. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> that is so cool how that ring still shows up outside of your mm -hmm. your rose there, your rose compass there. Our compass rose. A beauteous turn. Nice, yeah. Center or approach up twenty five eighty at nine point two for seven thousand two hundred knots. All Delta pilots sound identical, don't they? I think they have to go I'm in for a uh, voice box change. <laughs> <laughs> the Delta upgrade? Yeah. <laughs> they get assigned a, a Delta voice box. Mm -hmm. It's better than the one. Of, uh, it's in 705. Oh, yeah. Taking an approach. Okay, do we want to come down on this? No, not yet. <coughs> oh, actually, well, wait. Well, yeah, I let's think do, we do. Yeah, you're right. I was waiting to catch the diamonds. Alright, let's go ahead and go into approach mode. Okay. We are now in the approach mode. Is engageified. All right, we should be direct bamboo. Yep, we're direct bamboo. Initial approach fix. Delta four eighty eight maintain one eight zero knots or greater to eight day. Contact tower now nine point one. 91, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, So there was a real world 737 pilot that was talking about making some comment about my landing. But yeah. And he was saying, no, 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 you don't understand. He goes, 2020 is a little squirrely to land. He goes, in the real world, the 37s are so much easier to land. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Says it's easier to land them than it is on the sim. You know, when you do the touch up, roll out. Yeah. He says it's so much easier. All right, let's see what she does. If not, we'll have to go full stupid. Ten miles, we'll go ahead and go gear down flaps 30. Yeah. And 
we need to get. So cross fence speed is 151. Oh, you mentioned that we are going to go to approach mode, but approach mode is out. And it's supposed to, they all go out, see? It just captured, the okay. diamond turned pink. Okay, gotcha. And look at that, so when you look at these two, oh. make sure these are both lit. Okay. Now we're going to watch to make sure that other diamond captures. Yeah, see it's how moving. We, yep, now see how we started our descent? Yeah. That diamond should turn pink when it's captured. There it goes. And now she should line us up. So now we can adjust this altitude to whatever we want, which the go around is 4,000 feet. So you'll do a climbing right turn to 4,000. Right. Climb to 1,800, then climbing right turn to 4,000. Right. Gear coming down. Okay. Flaps going 30. Yeehaw! Here we go, folks. Smoke them if you got them. All right, airport's in sight. Runway's in sight. Ooh, wow! Isn't that cool? That is cool. So this will be a pretty taxing airport on the system. So. Yeah, that's what I figured. And she's butt smooth right now. Don't want to scare it. Don't want to scare her now. Heading 2500 south, 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 Okay, really quick, uh, auto brake three, flaps 30, gear down, speed brakes armed, engine set, continuous landing lights on, APU being started. Radios are set and we have, we have VOR lock and approach lock. Autopilot is still engaged. We have single channel. Wow, this is not too bad of a hop. It'll be an hour and a half added on to what we've already done. Yep. Well beyond the limit where it would hang. Right? Yeah, I think it's it. I, I think that was it. God, this is just gorgeous. <laughs> just I think amazed. this is a purchase. I know, isn't it? Yeah. Just absolutely stunning. Let's do this. Ooh, yeah. All right, we got command. I have command. No, I mean, you're... It's gone command. Oh, yeah, okay. It went from single channel to command. Oh, okay. Dude, she's looking good. Yeah. And look at the city over there. Mm-hmm. Damn. 1,000. You gonna let her do her thing? I won't let her do her thing. All right. We have to kick a little bit of right rudder to get her back on center line because that seems to be the uh, trend. Yeah. So just be ready for that. Yep. I'll take care of the reverse. Okay. Oh my God! Look at this traffic. What the? That was weird. That was weird. Ha! <laughs> Huh. I don't see anybody on the ground. I wonder if that was a leftover artifact from an event or something. It had to have been. All right, here we go. Four hundred. Three hundred. Approaching minimums. Continuing. 
Oh, that you're supposed to say that. Continuing. Minimums. Minimums. Landing. 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 Okay, looking for the flare. Looks like we're right on the center line now, too. There she goes. Right in the touchdown zone. Right on the center line. No rudder input required. Wow. Just a tad to the left, maybe. There we go. All right, 80 knots. We can... Whoa! Reversers didn't stow uh, at the same time. All right, we're gonna exit off to the left here. Okay. Clean her up. Here, take Bravo three. Yep, Bravo three. It is. Good evening, Atlanta. All right. Yeah, just pick a concourse. Any concourse? Yeah. I'm going to go Bravo 3 to Bravo 2. Dude, I think that was probably one of our most smoothest approaches. Yeah. What the heck happened there? <laughs> I have no yeah, idea. Uh, 93, turn right, heading 190. Right, right. Here's Bravo 2 on the left. We'll slow her down just a little bit. And we'll make this turn. Well, it probably helped that we had the correct altimeter in. We set the decision height. Yeah. I mean, we did all the other little... We were kind of on top of things. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to cross eight right. That is affirmative. My throttles? Yep, your throttles. Actually, we're we'll cross. Okay, landing lights are still on. When we cross an active, we should... Well, you know, I was thinking, watch what happens when I turn these off. Watch. Okay. Oh! That's kind of weird. You do have a taxi light. Yeah. Got a 2993, turn right at a 2506 miles of pain, maintain 5,000 to establish clear to I did never have taxi lights before. Right heading at 5,000 to establish clear to ILS, 26 right approach, shelter 2993. I'm not going to park next to him. No. He doesn't look like he uses deodorant. No. I'm going to try this guy. All right. So look for your line markers. See your see your square over there. You're going to turn too early. You want to put that damn near on the edge of your screen and then turn. That square? Yep. Okay. Now, yeah. So okay. As you're looking out there, you almost want your nose... Your, you almost want your nose to be almost... Definitely like, over like, it. Like an, almost like a 90 to it. Yeah. Okay. Because you got to remember the way this thing turns. Oh yeah, look at that! Look at that offset. Yeah, that's why you got to go almost past it and then turn. There you go. Now swinger. Yeah. Okay. See how that? Yeah. yeah. I see. That's why I got to get those 90, 95 inch TVs. Exactly. Yeah. Get on that. That way, so we can have it all spread back even further. <laughs> <laughs> Parking brake set. All right. The aircraft is clean. All right, we can disengage. Oh, look at that. What? Welcome to Atlanta. Okay, chocks are being set. Whoa! Oh, you did that. Okay. Yeah. Woo! Sorry, man! <laughs> sorry! Sorry! No problem! Mm. Well, another uneventful flight without rebooting it. Right. Fartin' A. I think, dude. I think we nailed it. I think so, too. I think that's it. Mis Misa happy. We'll take that win. Watch when I leave. One of two things are going to happen. Either your system is going to lock up again when I walk out the door, 
or mine will when I get home. <laughs> right? Oh, wow. All right. Well, from a flight deck of 705, see ya! You have choices when you fly. That's why the people at YOLO Airlines are surprised when you choose us. When the YOLO jets are flying, some days we're really trying. Sometimes it's almost like we care. A family trip, that special friend, an important customer. Whatever your reason to fly, you might get there safely on YOLO Airlines. Some pilots make it look so easy. Every YOLO flight is an adventure. Every in-flight meal, a trip to the lavatory. You'll be really glad to never be late because we never depart on time. So sit back, try to relax, and let YOLO pilots point out the sights. Air France 309, contact uh, Memphis Center 1, Tree 3.65. I hear my co-captain coming aboard. Two pump tangles holding short run on 1, 6. Are we ready to fly yet? Is that me or you? It's gotta be you. Nope, it's me. <laughs> okay. They keep telling me I'm cut off, but Cap I can't be cut off. I'm in the cockpit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> How can you be cut off in That's the cockpit? Crazy. Holy smoke, we gotta drop a whole oh, lot look. faster. No, than... look. Look at your banana. Yeah. Look at your own banana, not mine. <laughs> they won't serve me anymore. <laughs> I told him I need to fly. And they won't listen to me. Uh, gear down. Gear. Gear. Here you go. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. You only live once. That's the spirit of YOLO Airlines. So when you're ready to fly, there's one airline ready to serve you. Poorly.